uh, grew up on the west side of Detroit. At that time, it was pretty well mixed. We had a little bit of everything. There was an ad in the newspaper uh, that Hitsville ran uh, for secretary, switchboard receptionist. And I thought, well, maybe this place is legitimate. I actually walked in thinking, this is not for me. And I walked out thinking, God, I hope I get it. Um, and I did. Motown was supposed to be. I believe that the whole phenomena of Motown was a master plan. I believe the same for Dr. King. I believe that it was an appointed mission that he recognized and took on. Um, the two of them had an interest for all of us. I did not attend the march, but of course there was that excitement because Motown was involved with the recording of the speech. It was, uh, it was exciting to know that Dr. King was coming to us. I think that was the first time that, that I realized how special that whole Motown phenomena was because I'm thinking, if Dr. King wants to come here, <laughs> we must be pretty great. And there was the correlation between his message and our message. I'm sure you've heard stories of how the artists would go out, particularly in the South, and they would see the division between the color and the non-color. If you listen to a lot of uh, Dr. King's speeches, he very often compared, there was always a comparison of music with the peace effort. He, you know, he referred to the black as the bass, the white as the treble, <laughs> and our lives as the keyboard. Th there was just always that, that connection with his message and the message of the songs, uh, the music. Uh, Mr. Gordy absolutely started his music career, his business, with the thought of making music for everybody. Dr. King and his message was very much a match to the message that the music brought. The music at Motown, uh, in those early, what I call golden years, was pure. Just as Dr. King's message, Dr. Dr. King had a piece in his message that pretty much was the same as when you listen to the music from Motown, you can have a bad day and you can hear a Motown song and it'll take you to a pleasant moment. Even before Dr. King's message got out, before it became widespread. It was the music. It was the music that, at least for that little time period, it was the music that brought about a change in how that segment of folk, your musicians, your artists, were being handled or treated. The Motown artists actually were very instrumental in breaking that barrier. I guess pioneers in um, crossing over, I shouldn't say crossing over because the, the original intent was never to be a black act to please black people. Uh, Motown music was for everybody from the beginning. I have to say that it was the Motown artists that really um, broke the barriers where, you know, as far as concerts were concerned, the various venues that actually divided the colors 